this mower will start with starting fluid but won't start without it. You have to spray it in the carburetor, the intake, and it will start and run fine. I think the carburetor is clogged. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart, clean it, put it back together. It should take care of it. Take the cover off. Take the air filter out. Take this cover off. Pull the cover off. See this intake hose for vacuum? Connects there. And add onto the carburetor. It's two gaskets. On the carburetor there for that cover. Pull those off carefully so you don't tear them. Pull the fuel line off, stuck a bolt in it, and raise it up above the tank. That bolt's not quite big enough to keep the gas from flowing out. And I'm going to take out these two bolts, one there, one there, and pull the carburetor off. Once you get that loose, you need to take this little piece of linkage out there and leave this piece there so you don't have to take all that apart. And we'll clean it. Okay, I got the carburetor off. Now I'm going to take the needle, little needle valves, take the bowl, float bowl off. It's a bolt on the bottom there. Take this needle valve out. And uh, first thing you want to do is turn that in clockwise and see how many turns in it is or out from where it seats and reset it there after you're done cleaning. That's your fuel air mixture screw. But if you set it close to where it is now, uh, it'll start quick and you won't have uh, to mess around so much with that and then you can just fine tune it when it's running. Okay, got that needle valve out, that other screw, that's the screw for the bottom of the float bowl, and here's the bottom of the carburetor and the float. You want to take the float off, you just take this little pin here out, it slides right out, pull the float off, and there's a needle valve underneath that that you want to be careful of, and it doesn't fall off. And then uh, we're going to spray the carburetor out. You can see there's some hard deposits on there. And uh, what I'm going to do is spray some carb cleaner in there. And then take a stiff bristled toothbrush. And uh, I just did a little spot there. But I'm going to brush that all out. Clean all that gunk out of there. Okay, got it all cleaned out. Carburetor spray. All the holes and ports you want to make sure to take before you spray the carburetor clean any rubber gaskets or anything off because that's hard on them and uh, and then I took compressed air and blew through all the holes and uh, now I'm gonna put it back together and we'll see if it starts and how it runs I took this uh, needle valve and took a real fine grit sandpaper very very fine and just cleaned it up it was black with uh, carbon some sort of burned or set on soot so okay we got everything put back on except for the air filter and the cover We'll pull it off the bench and give her a test. Okay, I've got it off the bench and let's give it a pull.
avoid having to make a repair like this in the future, drain your gas tank of fuel or put stable in the fuel when storing.